In today's show, the Bitcoin price next stop, $23,000, as the BTC having approaches. Officially, 33 days remaining, 21 hours, 14 minutes, and 55 seconds until the estimated date for the Bitcoin having, set to be May 13th. And in today's episode, Bitcoin analyst Bitcoin Jack has posted a graph on Twitter that examines a range of indicators on the weekly closing prices, all of which point to an impending bull run. We'll be breaking down his fair price analysis for you in today's show. Also, in today's episode, Bitcoin cash halving is officially done. It took place yesterday. The reward has been cut in half, and we'll be breaking this down for you in today's show. Also, in today's episode, as you can see, most of the major cryptos are back in the red. Where's the Bitcoin price likely to go from here? Find out all this, plus so much more, in today's show. Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. So be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And before we kick off today's show, if interested in tapping into OPM, other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, be sure to smash the link right down below this video in the description. All right, welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and let's dive right into today's top story of the day. Bitcoin price next stop, 23 Gs, baby. As the Bitcoin halving approaches, more data is flowing in, suggesting that May's block reward halving will indicate notable gains in Bitcoin's value. This latest analysis suggests that the flagship crypto will slowly move up for the rest of the year and eventually eclipse its all-time high. Let's go BTC. Analyst Bitcoin Jack posted a graph on Twitter that examines a range of indicators on the weekly closing prices, all of which point to an impending bull run. And taking a look at his original tweet back from March 17th, Bitcoin Jack wrote, this should now be ready in terms of price and time balance analysis to start its ascend. We are past our golden ratio. And he just recently added here yesterday, Bitcoin fair price analysis update, 40% on our estimated time of price spent below the 0.5 of the entire consolidation range since $20,000 in 2013 to 2017 consolidation saw 41.57%. One way or another, the math suggests there's been enough discount below fair price to grind up for the rest of the year. And he included this graph, which I'll include in the show notes below the video and checking out some of the replies to his analysis. George Diaz wrote, how did you decide on 160 bars from the last all time high to new future all time high? And Bitcoin Jack responded, a combo of having analysis, GAN analysis, fractal analysis all suggest that consolidation close to or around all time high by the end of year, beginning of new year is within reasonable expectations. That gives 160 bars since the all time high. This chart examines moving averages and Fibonacci sequences of the present market and compares them to similar data from the 2013 to 2017 bull run. There is a clear parallel with much of the data. Thus, if the pattern continues, Bitcoin's price will move up for at least the next 12 months. I'm going to repeat that. Thus, if the pattern continues, Bitcoin's price will move up for at least the next 12 months. It's worth noting that Bitcoin Jack is not predicting a rapid price spike, at least not by the crypto market standards. Rather, he suggests that Bitcoin will move up steadily as it did during the last bull run that lasted until early 2018. Nevertheless, the crypto could still see a new all-time high within a few months. Now, many outside factors will impact price movement as it always has. I like to say Bitcoin does Bitcoin things. It does its own thing. And what we expect Bitcoin to do typically it will not do because it makes up its own mind. Bitcoin's block reward having continues to dominate the discussion of potential price moves. It will reduce the number of new coins entering the market by 900 per day, which is all but certain to increase the value should demand remain the same. There has thus been no shortage of other analytical data demonstrating how this move can change the very dynamics of Bitcoin's adoption. In a larger context, many other actions in the blockchain space are also likely to have notable 
market impact. For example, after weeks of decline, Bitcoin's network activity is once again moving up. This increase coincides with the price recovery, indicating that traders are becoming more active. It's also never been easier to invest as Bitcoin ATMs and other fiat on-ramps are proliferating at an astonishing pace. The overall increase in overall blockchain activity is another promising sign as more than ever, a variety of institutions explore adopting the technology. Given the real world use will ultimately determine the value of all crypto assets. This factor is an excellent predictor of future value. In fact, in this larger context, interest in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have never been stronger. Despite the market drop of the past few weeks, the overall blockchain space remains strong. Outside influences give a strong reason to be optimistic about the future. So what do you think regarding Bitcoin eclipsing its previous all-time high as a result of the Bitcoin block reward having? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. My personal belief is we will retest that $20,000 all-time high set back at in December of 2017, and I do think we're more than likely going to break it. But I want to know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And before we get to our next story of the day regarding Bitcoin Cash and its block reward having, which just took place yesterday, let's take a look at the overall cryptocurrency market. As you can see, Bitcoin down 0.68%, hovering just above the $7,200 support. Ethereum up 0.33%, trading just below $170. XRP is down 0.18%. 1.14% trading just below 20 cents. Link is up a whopping 17%. Go Link trading at $3.29. Miss Litecoin down 0.6% trading at $45. EOS up 1.5% trading at $2.72. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision up 2.4% trading at $214. And Bitcoin Cash down 2.4% trading at $259. Now let's talk about the Bitcoin cash having which is now officially done let's get it bitcoin cash having is here at block height 630,000 that haven't occurred and the block reward has now fallen to 6.25 bitcoin cash from 12.5 bitcoin cash the block hash as you can see right here was mined by ant pool the last few blocks on the network just before the having took 30 to 35 minutes to be mined then the usual 10 minutes which is pretty interesting in anticipation of its reward having bitcoin fork bitcoin cash has been flexing or at least it was it was up five percent trading at 265 dollars and in the past week the fifth largest crypto by market cap surged over 27 percent and is in the green by 33% year to date. And checking out this tweet from Ceteris Paribus, who wrote Bitcoin forks pumping into their halvings because I'm not sure why. And then it shows you Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, Bitcoin Cash, and Bitcoin Gold, all of which had pretty impressive gains uh, in the last 24 hours. You had Satoshi Vision up 13%, Bitcoin Cash up 5%, and even Bitcoin Gold. So it's almost as if as long as Bitcoin is a part of the name of the cryptocurrency, you saw some gains. And that's typically how things roll in the Bitcoin space, right? Bitcoin Cash is having that occurs every 200 10,000 blocks or every four years came over a month before Bitcoins because of its initial problem with its difficulty adjustment algorithm in 2017. As we recently reported, Bitcoin Cash shares the same S. HA-256 mining algorithm as Bitcoin and Satoshi Vision, which means miners can seamlessly redirect their hash power to the asset that is more profitable to them. Because Bitcoin will still have 12.5 Bitcoin rewards for a month longer when Bitcoin Cash today and Satoshi Vision tomorrow have their rewards, which already happen, FYI. This should force miners to direct more hash power to Bitcoin, which already accounts for nearly 95% of it all. Lower supply Supply won't help with poor network demand. That's a fact. While the hash rate of Bitcoin has been on a continuous surge, reaching to its all-time high at 110 terahashes per second last month, except for a few setbacks, Bitcoin Cash hasn't seen much traction. But Bitcoin Cash's hash rate has fallen 32% since mid-February high of 5 terahashes per second. This dropping hash rate, combined with low demand, won't work on digital currency's favor. ByteTree puts the market health score at 2 out of 6, which would indicate weakness. The network has 
has dropped off a cliff in recent weeks. Lower supply won't help with the network's demand. This poor, said Charlie Morris of crypto data tracker Byte Tree. Besides hash power, miner led selling pressure for all three of the cryptos is expected to increase, which is already high. For now, crypto data tracker CoinMetric expects miners to follow a cycle of decreased profit margins, increasing selling, capitulation, and a culling of the least efficient miners from the network. But once this cycle is complete, miners would return to a healthier state supportive of future price increases. So over 32% of Bitcoin cash has never moved. Now, when it comes to circulating supply, a whopping 6 million Bitcoin cash have never moved. Could that be Roger Veers? Hmm. Since its fork in August of 2017, out of the 18.4 million Bitcoin cash in circulation, 32.6% of its existing supply is either lost or being held for the long term. In comparison, only 2.3 million Bitcoin, 12.5%, of the 18.4 million Bitcoin in circulation haven't moved in five years. Now, as the digital asset prepares for its hard fork, Bitcoin cash price has risen and 85% of its addresses are at profit in comparison to just 56% of Bitcoin and 97% of Satoshi Vision. Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, whose halving is today on April 9th, a day after the halving of Bitcoin cash, is the best performing asset in the top 40 cryptos with year-to-date gains of 100 and 30%. And taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market cap, we're sitting at 209 billion with 121 billion in volume in the last 24 hours. And Bitcoin dominance is still decreasing now at 63.9%. And taking a look at the top gainers within the top 100, we have Chainlink up a whopping almost 18%, trading at $3.33. Go Chainlink. Seal up almost 14%, trading at 7.4 cents. Bitcoin Gold up 13.5%, trading at $9.72. Algorand up 9%, trading at 20 cents. Cosmos up 7%, trading at $2.51. And Basic Attack attention token up about 7% trading at 17 and a half cents. Now for the biggest losers of the day, Cybervane down 13% trading at 3.4 cents. Hedge trade down 5% trading at a buck 77. Synthetics network down 4% trading at 73 cents. Bitcoin down 4% trading at 0 0.0002. Nano down 1.9% trading at 59 cents and swipe down 1.9% trading at 71 cents. And now checking out the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are back in control, but barely, with shorts leading by about 33 million in superiority in the last 24 hours, and shorts at 50.9% versus 49.12% longs. Are you currently bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. And now checking out one of my favorite indicators. It's the Crypto Greed and Fear Index. Currently showing we're rated a 22 in extreme fear. Yesterday was a 21 and last week was a 14 and last month was a 10, all of which in extreme fear. And if you're not familiar with the Crypto Greed and Fear Index, extreme fear, which is where we're currently at and have been for the past month can be a sign that investors are too worried. That can be a great buying opportunity. And when investors are getting too greedy, that means the market is due for a correction. And I want to encourage you to check out the description right below this video by clicking show more in the description right down below for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the market. This goes for all of the videos here on my channel. Also has some very helpful resources for you to plug into, including the blog to my podcast, which could be found at Crypto News Yes. Dot com. Not only is this updated every day, but it allows you to download the latest episode of the show. Also, subscribe on YouTube if you haven't yet already done so. It's greatly appreciated. I appreciate your support. And also, whichever podcasting platform you're active on, whether it's Apple's iTunes or Spotify or Google Play, Stitcher Radio, whichever podcasting platform you're active on, please help support the show. It's greatly appreciated. You can also follow us on Twitter to receive daily crypto news alerts. My Twitter handle is crypto news yes and also have a crypto facebook group with over 17,000 strong from all over the world to become a part of this simply click this link request to join i'll be sure to plug you in and also have a private crypto telegram chat which i'm very active on to become a part of this simply click this link specifically from a mobile device and you'll automatically be added and i'm looking forward to connecting with you on the inside well that's going to conclude today's show as always i appreciate you tuning in and journeying along with me 
me inside this incredible crypto revolution. If you gain value out of today's show, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest premium crypto news. And real quick before I go, if interested in tapping into OPM, other people's money to grow your wealth and crypto portfolio, be sure to smash the link right down below this video in the description. And I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.